COVID-19 has pretty much changed everything. And all the way, I guess a lot of the way business is being conducted here in the U.S. and the floor covering business and everywhere. We're going to talk about that. With us for this conversation, Deb O'Reilly. He is CEO of Rollmaster, the industry-specific software company. And Deb, how are you? Doing great. Thank you, Dave. Now, before we talk about how business has changed over the last three or four months, uh, just so everybody here is on the same wavelength, talk about Rollmaster, the product and the services that you offer. Well, you know, this thing that happened, I think I mentioned to you, is right in our wheelhouse. We, um, we had a bad experience in New Orleans. We were uh, had to move because of the Hurricane Katrina, and we moved to Panama City, Florida, and set up an office real quick there and started doing everything remotely started to set up a hosting system, a hosting service, and we've been training and supporting and hosting software remotely uh, since, you know, since 2005. So what we do now is we've just gotten better at it. And we're, uh, we've learned from what people expect and what people need, and we've tried to adjust as we go. I think the, uh, it's kind of a sad thing when you think about it, though, when, you know, a lot of people complain, gee whiz, I'm quarantined, I'm staying at home, I can't go anywhere, I can't see anybody. Now, you know, the same thing applies to me, but it's a sad state when you realize it has no impact at all on your social life when that happens. Because <laughs> we, this is all we do. This is what we do anyway. But it's great. You know, we've even uh, developed a way to take people live. We used to go on site, and that seems so impractical now with the restrictions and travel problems, the availability of food, hotels, and everything else in the in the last few months anyway. So we've developed a whole system where we ship the tools and we make an arrangement with the client and his team to dedicate some space. And we do a, a full week of uh, on-demand constant support that, in, that brings the customer alive. And we had never tried that before. We've always gone on site. So it's a, it's a money saving thing. That's a little more time for us, but it's a very effective way to bring people online. And you know, the whole deal is not selling the software, but getting people to use and profit from the software. So we spend a lot of time in that area, trying to make sure the, the go live, the implementation fits the business and, and works. And we found a way to do it really, pretty well, and we're getting better all the time. And we started with a lot of experience under our belt, and we've gotten better as time's gone on and under these conditions. Now, what you do is basically change the way people do business. I mean, you change all of their business systems and it would seem like you just, to, to a novice like, like myself, I don't, you know, I've never seen it up close, changing all of that remotely would seem to be a bigger challenge. At least it would seem that way to me. Well, you know, that's, that's a good point. The, we, you know, of course, we don't try to change anybody's business. What we do is try to see if we fit with the way they operate. So we do a lot of um, uh, fit testing. Now we may go on site and watch somebody work and tell them the way ours works and see if they're willing to make the changes to, uh, to implement a system like ours. And then once they do, once they agree to that and they understand the flow, then we make sure that they implement it every step. That can be quite a challenge too. And sometimes we, uh, it's, sometimes it doesn't fit the whole organization or you have to bring people along that weren't involved in the original presentation. You have to get all the departments together. But if you have good management and good structure and uh, people that are willing to, you know, to adapt and change, it goes pretty smooth and pretty well. Is that one of the things you bring to the party with, with any of your new clients is, is basically organization? I suspect a lot of them aren't perhaps the most organized and it would seem like you, you, your system would run into snags if a company is disorganized. Well, that, I, we don't say it that way, but yes, that's what it is. It's really, you need effective management and you need a team that will participate in the change. And a lot of times the, uh, the change is a problem. You know, change can be painful and a lot of people don't want it now. But with a good manager and a good team and somebody who relates to the benefit the software will provide, it makes for a smooth transition. When there's disorganization or a lack of real management structure or if every department operates on its own, that's the most difficult situations. 
Uh -huh. I try to avoid those by uh, with our fit tests and management meetings and things like that. <laughs>